All right, hello and welcome to the 22nd episode of my Hotline Miami clone in Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be working on some more advanced AI for the enemies with guns. So like, say if you fired a gunshot, then they'd be able to hear you, or hear where it was if they were within a certain distance and hunt you down basically. And to do this, we're using the A-Star Pathfinding project for Unity, the free version, which you can download from aaronganberg.com slash A-Star. And once you've imported that, uh, yeah, I'll get into that in a minute. I'll just show you what I've done first. So I'll just show you that. See, we've got all the enemies roaming around and see how it's like, they'll just hunt you down. Sometimes they do get stuck on doors, but Yep, so they're hunting me down. I don't know why they didn't kill me though. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty much the essence of it, but it's a little bit buggy. Sometimes we can't get through doors because we had to change some of that up to get the pathfinding working properly. But no matter. Okay, so the first uh, script is like sort of a modified version of a the AI path script that comes with the path A style pathfinding project. It's basically I've altered a bit to work with uh, sprites. So basically, the, yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, one thing I changed in it was where is it? So I know I was control. I'm basically controlling the movement and uh, stuff movement from the enemy AI script. So I've basically got made it so I can return the next point, which is basically, uh, I'll show you the grid that it gives it. Uh, basically where every one of these lines meets another line, it's a grid. So here's a point, here's a point, here's a point, stuff like that. They're basically the points on the graph. And we'll go back to, yeah, so it'll basically return the next point of the path, which is set uh, here. These are the bits I've added to it. And it'll basically just check for, like, to the end of the path and return the next point, and making sure it doesn't go over and cause an error. So it'll return the point. And that's how the enemy AI, which I've changed a little bit of the going to the last location and added some. Uh, new methods. So this, instead of rotating towards just the player, rotates towards this next point. So it's like the enemy's looking where it's going. Okay. Uh, yeah. And we've got another method, which is herd gunshot, which basically, prov uh, once you fire a weapon here, it'll go to the level escape controller and do the shot fired method. And for each, and this basically is for each enemy, if the enemy AI is not equal to null, so if it's still alive and it has an enemy AI component, then it will activate the herd gunshot method with the player's position. So once the herd gunshot method's been called with the player's last position, it'll then, if it's the distance between the player and the enemy is less than 10, then it'll set the last position that it's been passed in as the player last position. And if there's not, an, and it will set the behavior of the enemy as to go into the last location that it's seen, the, uh, seen or heard the uh, player. So since AI pathfindings, if the AI pathfinding is null, it'll add the AI pathfind and then create a, an empty game object called last position uh, and store it in the last position variable, which is just a game object. And it just has to be blank. It's just a reference for a transform. So it creates it there. And the last pause marker is just a public game object, but it's just empty. Just as a, it's literally just to reference the transform on it. It'll create it at the player's last position. And then it sets the target for the AI pathfind to the, uh, to the, uh, last position dot transform. So it'll like go to where the player was when they fired the gunshot, but not 
but not oh fuck sorry Died. Uh, but not follow the player so like if the player walked away from where they were where they fired the gun the enemy wouldn't go to that new location they'd go to where the fired gun they fired the gun and if it was uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, also got disable a star which basically just gets rid of the uh, AI path find if it's not needed so if it's not going to last location and there is uh, AI path find thing uh, try and weapon to be added with the player detect no. we just add uh, if machine player is true uh, so this is basically this change was if it's uh, if it's basically if the player's just gone out of sight, it'll use the same method to see if it's her the good like just to make it go to that last position, and then if it's not if it goes to that last position and can't see the player, it'll just return to normal patrolling where it like turns ninety degrees every time it hits wall. Uh, so yeah, what else? what else? I think I've covered the thing. So I've got new things are new value variables. That's the one. We've got AI pathfind, which is assigned every time that we need to use the pathfinding. Uh, and we've got the game object last position, which is the one that's referenced by the AI pathfind or its transform is. And the last position marker is just like an empty game object. Uh, yeah. What else? Was there anything else? Oh yeah, I added a basically a new bit to basically this just disable if at the time of death or knockdown that the game object uh no it sorry, the enemy had like uh an AI pathfind component, it'll disable it'll disable that. But yeah. Uh weapon attack. Yeah. So basically, it just finds the level escape controller and then shots fired. Uh, yeah, so I'll just go over uh, Pathfind so you can read through that and copy it down or whatever. Most of this code was written by the Aaron Aaron Gramberg. Not me, I just made a few tweaks to make it work better. And there was one thing. No, since the change to the rotation to be done in the enemy AI because of how the sprites face right. And yeah. That's why. I think this does actually move the game object as well. Yeah, it moves it as well. So if it is moving on Pathfind, it'll move like twice as fast. Actually, I probably don't need that, but oh well. Don't make it matter. Uh, yeah, so that, uh, the main change here is going to last location, new rotation. Add in the AI pathfind and disable the star. The gunshot method and disable the star. We had no. Uh, let's see. Another couple of things you'll need to know is the A star. It'll, you need to create a like just an empty game object with A star path on it, which is basically like this draws the grid. Uh, which I'm currently using uh, Physics 2D, which uses ray casting to work out where the enemy can and can't walk. Can't walk. So if you see this, it uses a ray cast, and it, the mask is like the layers that, if the rays that it's firing collides with these layers, then it'll mark out areas not to go with where the enemies can't go, which is shown by the boxes, red boxes here. So I've got Pathfind block, which is just the walls, and path, path block with no entity collision, which is uh, two new bits I've added on the doors, just so there's only, it's basically just a path block with no entity collision. It's a collider, that's two colliders, sorry, that have been added to the doors to make sure that there's only one line going through them. So if you can see there, one line, one line, one line, uh, one line, which basically just this helps alleviate some of the bugs with enemies going through uh, the doors while pathfinding. Uh, yeah, and this is done. Basically, you set a layer. Uh, if you want to know how to set the layer, so 
it doesn't collide with anything, but the Raycast can still pick it up. You want edit product settings, physics 2D, and there's a collision matrix. So you can see uh, there's, gee, well, you can't really see all of the name, but no entity collision. It doesn't collide with anything, but it can still be hit by the Raycast. So I could walk through it, but it's still detected by the pathfinding stuff. And for enemies, or any AI which needs to use the pathfinding to move around, you will need a seeker on it, which you don't have to destroy. I just destroy the uh, enemy, uh, the AI pathfinding, because I do. It was a convenient way to make sure that it had stopped and started when I wanted it to. So yeah, uh, that's about it. There are a couple of bugs with the doors, which I'm not sure why they've occurred, but it might just be because of the new ones that I've made. Who knows? Maybe it's the new uh, colliders I put on the doors, but whatever. I will fix those and make a maybe final update on this, because, you know, I, just to make sure that it's already all right before you know, the A-star. Sometimes you do get uh, glitches, like... I don't know where it's going through, but yeah, you can see how it's all one grid. It's coming there. I've just left a bit out. Oh. Sorry, I'm just, uh, just miles away. Yeah, you have to rotate the grid uh, 90 degrees on the x-axis because uh, you're 2D, uh, just to make sure it's facing the right way so it can actually detect the level. And yeah. Uh, I don't think I've changed any other settings. My node size is 0 0.5. And yeah, that's about it. So cheers for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. Bye. And play loud or quiet. Links in the description.